Hey sports fans, back at it again. All right. Um, so it's a new day. When when I last left off, um, I had gone through spraying and brushing a 50/50 mix of nitrate dope and thinner. Um, so as I promised, I would um, finish off a few more coats of that last night, and I would start off today with the beauty rate. So that's where we are. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I went out and got a couple of three flights in this morning with my uh, FMS Redtail P51. Great. The wind was blowing, but that plane is just stable. I mean, if, if you've ever wanted a P51 that is docile and calm, um, not overpowered, I really recommend that FMS um, 1700 uh, Redtails P51 or even the Ferocious Frankie, which is the yellow, the yellow nose color scheme. But anyway, enough of a plug for FMS. Um, so where we are today, um, I've thinned up a, um, and, and I have some straight, um, 50-50, I have some 50-50 thinned up butyrate and thinner, and I have a, a container with some straight butyrate. And again, I'm just experimenting to see what my results are. So, um, I've already done the same mixture as I did yesterday. I have three of my small little cups of, of butyrate and then three more of thinner to get the 50-50 mix. I have it in the brush already. And, um, I'm sorry, in the air gun already. Um, I'm outside, so there might be some wind noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. And, um, and I'm going to uh, put that on. Um, let me tilt the camera down so you can see what goes on all right hopefully you can see I think you can okay all right so I have the one panel that I've marked 50 50 so I can remember because I'm old and yeah well you know um, and this one um, on the bottom I've marked it that I'm going to use a hundred percent butyrate on that on that side um, this is going to be 50 50 brushed maybe I should do that brush And then um, this is going to be 50-50 spray and brush. Let's try that. 50-50 butyl spray. That way. And brush. That way. All right. Keep me straight. Okay, so in any case, that's the plan. So that's where we are. So um, this is the container with the straight um, butyrate. Yeah, it's starting to starting to gel, and this is a container with the 50/50, which I've already poured some over here into into the gun. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Um, I'm gonna start with the spray first because maybe because I spray dry so quickly and again I'm gonna try to do four coats and four coats um, just to see what happens maybe I need more of the spray maybe I won't but hopefully we'll start seeing some tightening um, one one thing I did want to make a note of this is pluckable nice and hard with just the nitrate straight nitrate this it's still very clothy. It's still very um, flexible. It's more flexible here than it is here where, where I did the brush because definitely the brush was a thicker coating. So, um, but it's still, you know, flexible and pliable where this really isn't. And one other point of caution, um, as I mentioned yesterday, I was supposed to lightly sand and you probably can't tell, but I've already sanded this one lightly and I've already sanded this side lightly. But somewhere on the lines, I didn't sand light enough because I have punched through the fabric in a few places. There's one. I don't know how well you can see that. See the blue glove underneath. And I did it in another place. There's a little spot there. But, um, but yeah, and there's some more there. In any case, um, Still that word of caution, sand lighter than I did, or definitely stay away from the harder surfaces as much like the ribs there. Okay, so here we go. Let me move you up the way so I don't get any overspray or a little overspray. And I will spray you, you. All right, let me get my spray pattern here, make sure everything's good. Oh yeah. 
you'll probably hear the air compressor so uh yeah oops i'm supposed to be spraying this way Let the compressor catch up a little bit. I'm going over it twice. Don't ask me why. The spirit moved me. And because this is clear and thin, it's really hard to see that you're spraying anything. But um, I am. Trust me, I can see it on the board when it sprays. All right, so that's that side sprayed. I'll turn this guy off. I won't need it for a little while. And hopefully this time I'll remember off camera to turn it back on. You might see it getting a little bit dark That's with it starting to sink in. All right, so I labeled my brush 50-50 so I wouldn't mix them. So, and I got a smaller brush. I couldn't find a wider brush and I didn't want to reuse the brush that I, even though I cleaned it, I didn't want to take a chance that there might still be some nitrate residue in there and it might skew my results. So, here I am with a new brush. Little old one inch chip brush from Lowe's. Happen to have some on hand. I always have some of these guys on hand. They're great for a lot of stuff. So when I do something that I need them, I usually buy them a dozen or so, so that I always so that I do always have them. So I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping that I'll start seeing some tightening. Some tautening. And I'll tell you, this stuff is very aromatic. Although, it seems that the butyrate isn't as aromatic as the nitrate. I don't know, maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe I'm getting used to the, getting used to the aroma. But, um, the butyrate doesn't seem to be as aromatic as the nitrate. Um, but, um, I'm here at the back of my house and uh, I can walk to the front of the house or if, if I went out to the store, something and came back, I can see, I can smell from the front of my house what I'm doing here in the back. And which is pretty interesting because usually the prevailing winds are from the front to the back. It actually like almost creates like a wind tunnel down my driveway so yeah I definitely would not recommend doing this in the house I wouldn't recommend doing it in a garage that's attached to the house especially if you're using forced air like if it's if it's during the summertime and you're using the air conditioner and the air conditioner could suck some of the air in from the um, adjoining door between the house and the garage you're going to get um, you're going to get some of this odor seepage trust me I know I've been there and of course the same thing applies during if you try to do this in a in a garage during the winter time a heated garage hopefully because I don't know how well this stuff will work 
in, in cold conditions. It may still work well, just take much longer if it's cold. I don't know. Um, but I know I wanted to get this done before the cold weather set in. Uh, primarily, what I've learned from my other my experience with the Stitz Light, uh, since you do spray the majority of that application, it does not like to spray below 70 degrees. And I've learned that the hard way, which is one of the reasons why I'm trying to jump on it now. Otherwise, um, I have to try to heat the garage. And I just mentioned the problem with trying to use the garage in the morning time. Even if I don't open the door, it's that my, uh, my garage adjoining door is uh, where the kitchen is. So if your house is much like my house, the kitchen gets a lot of use. So, um, and we have a second refrigerator in the garage, which gets a lot of use. So that kitchen door to the garage is off, is open quite frequently. So even if I tell people, don't open the door, you know how that goes. So in any case, I don't recommend it, is what I'm trying to say. But if it does get cold, and for whatever reason, I would have to do the stits um, stuff, what I guess what I can try to do is predict what's going to be needed out of that refrigerator and get it out early. And then tape the seams all the way around the door um, so that we can't get any any seepage and then just go out through the the front door the the um, garage door itself so that's the plan and hopefully you can see this but it looks like this stuff is drying fairly quickly looks like it's drying faster than the nitrate all right let me let that go there let me let this go here and something's telling me I should have brushed that 100% first. Oh yeah. I know the can, if you see the can, don't scream. I need to take that label off, but this is definitely the nitrate. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is definitely the butyrate. I'm just reusing this can. I clean this can out very thoroughly. And I just need to take the label off and then label the can. Yeah, this stuff is drying very quickly. Because even just in those two sections, if I try to go back over it, I can feel it's already gummy. So lesson is, don't try to go back over it. Set it and forget it. All right, sounds like my GoPro battery died. Let's see. Yeah, battery died. All right, we'll do without it for the time being.
least a good thing with the GoPro is I can put an external battery. Um, I actually do have the extended battery pack that goes on the back. Um, but since it uses USB connection to power, I can actually get one of those, um, what do you call it, one of those portable, portable power packs that you use with your cell phone to keep your cell phone charged. I can use one of those with a long cable and just put it in my pocket or something, strap it. So maybe I'll do that so I won't have the battery issue again. Alright, that's one coat of the thinned, and before I forget, fifty fifty butyrate. Knock this on. to serve as my witness. I wrote it on there. 50, let's see, 50 B U T Y L. Alright, it's on there. Okay, let's see. Let's let you dry. Let me try to brush on some of this straight stuff. Ooh, yeah. That was a mistake. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has really gelled up. So note to self. Don't do that again. Now, I use that, I use this, this is one thing, I, maybe that's part of the reason I'm thinking out loud here. I use the same container with the nitrate. Um, I cleaned it out, I cleaned it out with the thinner, but maybe I didn't clean it enough. Maybe that's why it's, it's gelling up like that. And here I go skewing my unskewable results, right? Okay, I must have reached my record limit. Which means I think it's 30 minutes. I don't think I've been recording for 30 minutes, but I guess I will see. It's amazing how time flies when you're having fun. So this is actually making me wonder if it's gelling and thickening this fast. I better check that gun and clean it out. I don't want that gum to, gun to get gummed up. Which means I'm going to need to pour some of that back into that container and then run some thinner through it. Oh my goodness, this stuff is going on like paste almost. Which is probably not a good idea. And then maybe again, that's the nature of, duh, it's thickening up, it's tightening up as, as it sits out here in the air, as it gasses off. So, hey, isn't butyrate dope supposed to tighten up, tauten the material? 
Well, maybe that's what I'm seeing. It's doing its job. I'm just taking too long. I'm trying to hurry up right now. sirens and I hear some dirt bikes. I wonder if the police are trying to pull over a dirt biker. For some reason it's a problem in this area. Of course I'm in the suburbs. There's no place for dirt bikers to do their thing. So they'll go out into the side streets on the side, no, not on the sidewalks, but they go out to the side streets in the neighborhood and the police will get after them. Yeah, that must be what that is, because if it were just an ambulance hitting the siren off and on, we really aren't that far from a hospital either. Oh, man. Note to self. Don't do this again like this. I think I'm going to lose this container. Not a big deal. I don't care about the container, but... I don't really think this is going to work out too well because it's not going to, it's not having a chance to work its way into the material. But hey, let's find out. That's why we're doing this, right? This side is already. It's not. I'm not leaving any residue on my glove. This bottom side. I don't know if you can see that. So got some flexibility. All right. So I'm gonna lean this like that since I have some on one side. Actually, since this side has more, I'm gonna leave that side like like that. Alright, I'm going to leave that be. Um, I don't know. I'll give it another 30 minutes. Probably don't need that long at the rate that this is drying. But I'm going to try to tend to this container and tend to my gun in the meantime. Alright, so I'm going to take care of that. I'll be back. No point in having you watch me do that. Deuces.